Hi everyone, my name is Marianne Hansen. I'm the owner and the counsellor at Marianne Hansen Counselling Service. I specialise in working with people with relationship issues, people with depression, low self-esteem and stress. I'm also a coach and I work with people who struggle with confidence and low self-esteem. You can check out my other channel which is called Marianne Hansen Self-Esteem Coach. But what I'd like to talk about today is dealing with ruminating thoughts. So ruminating thoughts are the thoughts that continuously stew in our head where we are continuously either having the same thought again and again or sometimes it can be a combination of multiple thoughts that continue to um, affect us. The impact can be felt because you can't kind of stop um, thinking. So the ruminating thoughts are thoughts that are just, um, the word ruminate really is just means it's similar to procrast procrastinate, meaning that you are just continuously having the same thoughts again and again and again. And no matter what you do, you can't get rid of them. You can't move forward from that. Now, this is very common with people who are struggling with depression and anxiety, because if you're already in a depressed state, you're normally thinking of negative thoughts that come up. So ruminating thoughts just mean those negative thoughts continue and they happen again and again. So it could be an example of a ruminating or a negative thought could be um, if you're already feeling depressed and you feel like you can't get out of bed, you may start to think, what's the point in getting out of bed? What's the point in me going outside because I'm just going to get judged? Um, I'm too uh, unattractive to leave the house. People are going to be staring at me. So what is the point in me not only getting up, what's the point in me going out, and then what's the point in me being alive? You know, if there's no point in me being alive, then I might as well start to think of ways that I can not be here. And then that can lead downwards and downwards. So ruminating thoughts normally just spiral down and down and down because there's nothing to stop those thoughts from happening. So the first thing really is to acknowledge the thoughts and just say, no, thank you. Another way of doing it is when the thoughts come up, you say to yourself, do you know what, I do not have time for this right now, or I know the thoughts that you're coming, and I know that I've heard this before, but right now my energy is going to switch to something else. So you're using your strategies to not to control the thoughts because they're already happening, but you can once they're here, you can do something about it. So it's about saying, no, thank you, not today. Um, sorry, thoughts, but I'm not hearing you. Sorry, but I'm doing something else right now. So it's, as I said, this, these ruminating thoughts, it's more complicated than that, but I'm just trying to make it like a simplified version because the thoughts, if it's the same as the one with negative thoughts, which I've made a video about, so I'll probably try and link it in the description. They can feel so overwhelming and so overpowering at the time that it can be really difficult to take any form of action. And this is why they're so damaging to a lot of people. So what you need to do instead is make a decision that you're going to do, you're going to take action that's empowering. So you're going to take control of these thoughts. You're not going to allow them to control you. So part of it is self-talk. Now self-talk is something I talk about in lots of my videos. Self-talk is where you're giving yourself that pep talk, where you're saying, you know, I am beautiful. I know I've got this because I've done this before. I know that I can achieve anything I want to achieve. I know that these thoughts are just coming into my head because I've planted the seed. I know that these thoughts are just here because of how I'm feeling at the moment. But deep down and truly, I don't believe these thoughts. I know that I can do whatever I want to achieve. You know, so it's self-talk. Then the next thing is to choose how you're going to spend your time. If our brain is conflicted, so we're trying to spend our time and energy on the negative thoughts. We're trying to feed those ruminating thoughts. But then on the second part of us, we don't really want them there. We want to do something more positive. Your brain doesn't know what's going on. You're confusing it. So make a decision. The decision is I'm not going to spend my time and energy on these ruminating thoughts. Why am I thinking about something that could happen um, in six months time? Or why am I um, focusing on something which has happened in the past? So that's another thing two things there really I've given you two tips in one the first one is when something's bothering you think about will this really matter in two months will this really matter tomorrow will this really matter in a week from now you know and if not why am I worrying about it now and then the second thing is to say to yourself I'm choosing right now that I'm going to focus on the present so it's sort of a similar type thing really anytime someone focuses on the present moment 
then they're saying that right now at this moment is my is someone asking are my creditors asking for bills you know we have people that have got bills due um next month or they've got an exam in three months time or they've got um something major happening in a year's time so they're sitting there and stewing and ruminating on that stuff how about just saying do you know what it's not happening right now so you're grounding yourself you're saying to yourself right now i'm safe right now i'm okay Right now, I don't have to deal with this. So I'm staying in the present moment and I'm focusing on right now. Some of the other things are things like writing the thoughts down. Now, this is something I'm always advocating for. Anyone that I speak to where they have issues, especially when it's lot, um, lots of thoughts, negative thoughts, is getting a journal and writing them down. Now, what you're going to try and do is you can use your journal in lots of different ways. You can use a journal just to write down the negative thoughts. You can use a journal to also write down how you're feeling generally, and that's every single day, whether those whether those feelings are positive or negative. You can use a journal so that you can um, have a story of your life over a period of time, and then you can reflect back on it, and it can show progress or it can show patterns. I really like the idea of having a journal and then going back to it and seeing if there was any patterns. Do I normally feel sad on a Monday, Monday evening? Can I make the link between what is it about Monday evenings that makes me feel sad? Or to look at your progress, in January I was feeling like this, but now it's like March and my journal seems to be more positive. So it's different ways of doing it. So the only other thing I think um, on my list is to distract yourself with activities. Um, now there's lots of ways of doing this. The problem, this is the thing that happens sometimes when people are having ruminating thoughts or negative thoughts they're so engrossed in the negativity of the thoughts that they drop all of their activities. I've spoke to people where they've said, I can't even be motivated to do my yoga classes anymore. I used to love playing video games, but I'm not focused, I'm not concentrated. This is the time where you don't drop your activities and your interests and your hobbies. Keep doing them, even if you're not as focused as you normally would be. Don't say to yourself that you're not going to do them because you need a distraction and you need a reason to live you need a purpose you need to do as many things as you can to rid yourself of the thoughts but if you give up all of your activities you're just giving more time and space for those thoughts to breed so really ruminating thoughts can be dealt with um any type of thoughts we have which are not pleasant and which are negative are very destructive they can become very um disempowering and very um they can feel like very powerful but what we have to understand is we're in control of what we plant in our brains. We're in control of whether we want to rewire our brains for good things. We can do it. So I hope you found this video useful. If you have, feel free to leave your comments. I'd love to hear what you think. Don't forget to like, to subscribe and to share this with others in case they find it useful. Thanks for watching. Bye.